The Petaluma High School senior says that she planned to tell a very personal story about her own sexual assault and call out the school for its response. But KPI X Files Emily Turner reports her mic was cut before she had the chance. Emily? Alan, what you're about to hear isn't an audio glitch or a technical error. It was intentional. But this young lady is not letting that stop her. It was one of the greatest moments of Lula Bell Seitz's life. We can't deny that it was with an air of importance that we all walked in here. Until, she says, it became one of the worst. Some people on this campus, those same people. School administration cut the mic during her valedictory speech at graduation. The school will just censor people. The school continually censors students. She went off the approved script, mentioning teacher strikes and adversity. Her sound was cut before she launched into the topic of a sexual assault that happened to her. That she says she reported to the school, but it did nothing about. It wasn't an easy thing to do to go up there and say what I said or tried to say. The school wouldn't go on camera today, but did issue this statement saying, quote, due to student privacy issues, we cannot and should not respond with specific information. We can say that when issues of sexual assault come to our attention, local law enforcement has initial jurisdiction and determines the course of action. Lulabel says administrators told her repeatedly beforehand certain topics were off limits. But she decided to go there anyway with her accused assailant, a fellow student sitting in the audience. The class of 2018 has shown time and time again that we may be a new generation, but we are not too young to speak up, to dream, and to create change. Which is why even when some people, those same people, defended perpetrators of sexual assault and silenced their victims, we didn't let that drag us down. She posted the actual speech as well as the rest of what she was planning to say to YouTube. The video has more than 1,800 views already. She says her message has gotten a lot of positive feedback, but she's also gotten some blowback because of the place she chose to deliver it. Graduation may not have been the spot to say, like, there was an opportunity for her to, like, display her message to all of us, but I think that, like, just given the, um, like, we're all celebrating us leaving, you know, and she was kind of taking it off into, like, what happened to her. Lulabella is still upbeat about everything. She says she's excited to attend Stanford in the fall and that she's heard from many of people who will be her peers there, and she says they are all very supportive. Reporting live in Sonoma County, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.